So this has definitely been one of my more challenging teams, I think, to kind of do in the 2023 NBA mock draft. And that is, of course, the New Orleans Pelicans. There's a lot of really interesting things going on with this team. I think it's honestly one of the best rosters in the league at the time making this video. It's just so riddled with injuries and there's still a lot of question marks that need to be answered, a lot of developments, this and that, and potentially more draftees and depth that needs to be added to this team. And at the time of making this video, the New Orleans Pelicans record has kind of dropped to the point where they will actually be selecting ninth overall in the 2023 NBA draft. So of course, I did my best to pick a play for this that I think not only you know, suits the team, but suits Zion and hopefully the future. So again, in saying all that, as I just said, the lottery hasn't happened yet. So of course, I will be basing this off record too. And before I get into the pick, I would also like to say, if you guys haven't gone and checked out my 2023 NBA mock draft, the full thing, I highly recommend you guys go and do that you know, before watching this video, just to kind of see all the other players that I have going to all the other teams and whatnot. But I guess without further ado, here's who I have the New Orleans Pelicans selecting with the ninth overall pick in the 2023 NBA draft. Now, moving on to pick number nine, we do have the New Orleans Pelicans who are in an extremely weird spot where they have this really awesome roster the issue is they just got players who don't want to stay healthy unfortunately zion williamson and brandon ingram are two of the best forwards in the league but they're never on the court never even on the court together and when they actually did manage to play some games we did see that the new orleans pelicans were like i think at one stage the third seed in the west and looked really really nice but they just had a bunch of injuries and they just fell down, even falling past the Lakers, who they own, you know, pick swaps for. So, yeah, it's just an extremely unfortunate thing for them. I wouldn't be surprised if they traded this pick. I just don't really know what more they need. You could definitely go for a playmaker and maybe something like that. But you've got a hidden gem sitting there like Dyson Daniels, who I think could be exactly like Josh Giddy, other than them both being Australian. They're both six foot seven, pass first type of dudes with decent jumpers who can defend pretty nice on the ball. So having he's already kind of there for you. I really don't know what else this team needs. They just need to stay healthy and hope the development of players like Dyson Daniels pans out because if Daniels becomes what they had Lonzo doing in New Orleans, if not even a lot better, which I think he could, then you should have a really good team and he'd be an awesome player to keep alongside Zion, CJ, Brandon Ingram. But yeah, you, you maybe just adding a really nice role player would be the right way to go here. And I think one of the best role players in this draft with the ninth overall pick does happen to be Grady Dick, who is an extremely efficient player who I, I think has an extremely... Uh, well-versed jump shot who could be a, a guy that very similar to a player like Reggie Bullock who is kind of being compared to right now is a guy who can you can chuck in the corner every now and then and of course be a really really good shooter a guy who can play the two and the three but also defend the perimeter really well which is what Grady Dick has done of course he's from Kansas and in his season that he has played for them He's been averaging an extremely efficient 14 points per game, which has been really good. It's being said that Grady Dick is a very versatile wing who is a great shooter with high upside. He's a good athlete who is great at moving without the ball and can always find a good place for a catch and shoot. He's a gr he's great floor spacing forward with good shot creation ability. My, my thing is, this team does have already a couple of really nice shooters, but I think if your goal is to have, you know, Dyson Daniels and Zion Williams as your, like, point forwards, which I think is what they're trying to build and have been trying to build right now in New Orleans for uh, a little bit, then you're going to need some shooters around them. They've, of course, got Trey Murphy, who's there, CJ, Brandon Ingram, and a couple other dudes here and there 
but they do still lack some shooting sometimes. Josh Richardson's not a, an elite shooter. Herbert Jones is not a very good shooter at all. I don't think Jose Alvarado from Remembrance is a very good shooter. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of lacking on shooting here and there. I don't think um, Valanchunas has been that good from three this season and has definitely dropped off quite a bit as well to kind of what he used to be. But yeah, I just think if you're going to want to have Zion and, you know, Dyson Daniels is like two of the point forwards, you're going to need to add some shooting. And I think a dude like Grady Dick, who can not only add you some really nice three-point shooting, but he can also be very, very efficient and, I think, reliable. I think you're kind of looking at a dude like Corey Kispert from one of the previous drafts who I think is averaging around an, a good, efficient 10 points per game or so for the Wizards. But you're looking at kind of that player, I think, but with Reggie Bullock's type of defense and a much better perimeter guy who can definitely, I think, switch a lot better. And that's why he's, I think, rated so highly. I think there's also a very big kind of, uh, I, I think, spectacle that this guy could be a really good shot creator in the league as well. Because right now, really, the low that you'd think this guy would achieve is just being a, a good shooter, right? But I think the, the high of what he could be is not only a good shooter who can defend, but maybe a guy who could create his own shot when there's an absence of a of a Brandon Ingram or a Zion Williamson. And I feel like maybe that's an, another thing the Pelicans might need is as soon as these guys go down, you have no one who can really fill in and create these shots. You're not really going to have a, a guy like Larry Nance come in and do any of that type of stuff. I just don't think that's practical and you know realistic to see Larry Nance just pulling up from the mid-range and creating his own shot. That's the issue with this Pelicans team is, but it could be solved right here with a guy like Grady Dick, who with a healthy Zion and a healthy Brandon Ingram, he can be a really nice three-point shooter who can defend the perimeter and switch, but without Zion and without Brandon Ingram, maybe this Grady Dick guy could be a very nice shot creator who, who can do it on both sides of the court. I think that's what you're kind of wanting if you're the New Orleans Pelicans. And then once you've got him and you, of course, develop Dyson Daniels into hopefully the guy you want him to be, maybe fix up their centers because Jackson Hayes and Valanciunas haven't been that good. Or hell, maybe even run Zion as a small ball center. That'd be, yeah, unstoppable. I think you're going to have a very, very good New Orleans Pelicans team, you know, in the future. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys agree with my picks or would you guys have maybe selected someone else with a couple of the picks that I've taken? I definitely would really like to know. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash vlog channel. And of course, this channel for all the latest sports content, sports news, all of the above. But as I was saying... Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.